Welcome to the Yes Group. My name is Tony Snow, Vice Chair, and I'm your MC for the night. As per usual, we've got a brilliant night lined up, two fantastic speakers. We have Jill Fielding, the financial expert and the secret millionaire. <laughs> Woo! And we have our very own founder of the Yes Group, Cole Pearsall. <laughs> fantastic. How many of you had trouble getting in tonight for the Piccadilly line being, oh, that's quite a lot. Uh, it's really great that you've, you've managed to get in today. So, who are our members? Who are our faithful guys? Great to see you once again. Who are our non-members? Why? We've got to convert you. Come on. Who are our guys who are here for the first time tonight? Oh, that's fantastic. Lovely to see you guys. You're in for a treat tonight. Now... Just especially for you, just a little bit about the Yes Group, um, which was formed 25 years ago. It's actually our anniversary this November. Um, it was started by Cole Pearsall, who I've, I've mentioned. And he, he, he decided to do something after going to an event called UPW. Who's been to UPW? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of people. And we've all walked on hot coals, right? Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I did it, as Cole did it, when you come out, you want more. You do four days, and even though it pushes you and, push, and it pulls you and it challenges you, you want to continue that journey. And Cole decided to do that with, I think, four or five mates 25 years ago. He come out of there, and he wanted to continue that journey. So what they did for, well, for the next few years is once a month they would meet. And they did it continually, and Coles carried it on for 25 years, and it is now the UK's biggest personal development community, which is fantastic, and I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> and talking to Tony Robbins, the great Tony Robbins, um, Tony talks about the six human needs. He talks about certainty and uncertainty. He talks about love and significance. And then the last two, he talks about growth and contribution. And they are the two highest values that we, we hold very dearly at the Yes Group. Now, growth, which is, which is a massive part of our lives, it's one of the reasons I come to Yes Group, and I'm sure we all know what growth, growth is, but let just explain it very simply, is all of us live in a little comfort, all of us have a comfort zone, right? And we tend to do things that don't frighten us or don't scare us, and we just sit there. And when challenges come along, we tend not to take them on. But to grow, we have to take on that fear. As Jack Canfield once said, everything we want is on the other side of fear. Whatever that may be, whether that's taking a new job, speaking on stage, and taking on that challenge is where we grow. I and mean, there's a lot of growth that goes on here at Yes Group. And the other one is contribution. Uh, has anyone heard of Basket Brigade? Who's done Basket Brigade? Fantastic. Uh, later on, actually, we've got Joel's who's going to come up and he's going to speak about Basket Brigade. I've done it for four years now. I take my children. It's the best thing that I've ever done. It's the best thing I've done for them because it shows the children how lucky they are, how lucky our children are to not only get food, but to get presents and warmth. And we deliver food to people, unsuspecting people, that don't know we're coming, and we deliver baskets of food to them on the 23rd of December. And as I said, Joel's will be coming up to talk a little bit about that. Now, our mission statement here is to inspire, empower, and support people in pursuing their personal growth and making a positive difference and contribution to humanity. Who would love to do that? Who would love to do more of that than sign up for the Yes Group? Now, last night I was, um, I was being interviewed um, on a Facebook Live. Some guy was, um, he, he's done a week around branding, and that's what I do. I'm an art director, I work in the world of advertising and marketing. So he asked if he could do a have a conversation with me, and we spoke last night, about an hour and a half, and one of the questions that he asked me was the importance of mentors. And we had a chat about that, and it, and it had me thinking, because as you members well know, what we do each week is I give you a little exercise to do, um, and the members will be used to it. There'll probably be a few of you sitting there and they're thinking, oh my God, have I got to get up and start talking to people? Because that's what we like to do here. We like to connect. And I was thinking, what, what, what could I give you guys tonight? And I was thinking about how many people in here own their own business? Any guys looking to own their own business? So most, a lot of people in here are business owners. Uh, how many people actually have a mentor at the moment? Oh, wow, that's quite a lot. So what I'm going to ask you, and what, in a minute you're going to get up, and you're going to talk to as many people as you can, 
And I want you to tell that person or people, two or three people, if you could choose any mentor in the world, dead or alive, right, who would it be and why? Okay, let me say that again. If you could choose any person to be your mentor, dead or alive, who would that be and why would you choose that person? And if you haven't got a business, maybe it's just about helping you grow as a person. But as there's a lot of business owners in here, I'd like to do that. So I would love everyone to stand. Don't be shy, guys. And what I don't want you to do is just turn to your mate and stay there for five minutes. I want you to spread. I would love to uh, see you speak as many as you can. I'll give you five minutes and then when we come... I'm going to kick start this. I was thinking about who, who, would, I, who would I want as a mentor? And, and I'm, I'm sure we, ha we have a long list. Um, I'll, Richard Branson would, be, would probably be up there for me. and I'm, There may even be a couple with him. But do you know what? I've just, I'm halfway reading a book by the guy that um, uh, created Nike. Or Nike, Nike, Phil Knight. Um, is it Phil Knight? Yeah. Um, and it's fascinating. Has anyone read the book uh, Shoe Dog? It's a fantastic book, right? Uh, and I was thinking there would be a lot to learn from him. So who would like to share who, who would they love to have as a mentor? Mark. Can we introduce ourselves to everyone, please? And here's a mic. Yeah, my, na my name is Mark. Mark. Hello, Mark. Is, is it working? Yes, it's yeah, working. It's working. Um, easy. So Winston Churchill. Yeah. OK. And, I, and this might sound a bit deep. Had he not been there, we might all be speaking German today. <laughs> and a great leader, and he loved champagne. <laughs> and there's a champagne named after him. Thank you, thank you for sharing, thank you. Anyone else, gentlemen, here in the red? We stand up, Mike from Jay. Thank you, I'm Mark II, second model. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're not German, are you? So actually, I've got some actually, lovely German friends in the audience, and I'll take that back. <laughs> um, I've got two, one would be Buckminster Fuller. I don't know if anybody knows who yeah. that is. Um, he's um, done a lot for self-development. Um, actually, I've got three. Another one would be Milton Erickson. Yep. Yeah, he, he's, uh, I find him awesome. I could just have a conversation with him and he just twist my brain up in all different ways. And the next one will be M Nelson Mandela for his coolness mm. and just being able to just deal with situations and just... You know, you don't know what he's thinking, but when he answers, he answers and he just shoots you with a bullet and just, it just knocks you out. So that's it would be for Thank me. You. Thank I you. I think with, the thing I'd love to know about from Nelson Mandela is, is, is learning how to forgive when someone's done that to you. I mean, that, you know, wow. But that's the, that, that is the key. Forgiveness yeah. is the key. I, I, I agree entirely. And that's, what's, that's, that's what makes it. It's a lot it. easier said than done for us, though, isn't it? For, Most definitely. Know, okay? Most definitely. Thank you for sharing. Thank, Thank you, you, Mark. Gentleman in the middle there. Okay. Uh, my name's Cash, and I would say um, Prince. The reason why I say Prince, um, he was a philanthropist, and he done a lot of things uh, which nobody nobody really knew about. Um, I love the fact that he, what he did was more. It kind of defeated the ego because of when he did things, he didn't want no one to know about it. Because a lot of the time, when we do do good, um, we have a tendency of of speaking about it indirectly, and that's not something that we should do. I think it's something that. Um, we should keep to ourselves, and it's between you and God, nobody else. So, and not just that, um, just the fact that he brought out the best in people. Anyone that was aligned to him, um, they became better. So, yeah. Thank so. you for sharing. Anyone else? Sveta. Can I be selfish and go for two as well? Of course you can. Uh, I'll go for Michael. Mark had three. You can have two. <laughs> well, just two for me. Uh, Michael Stelzner, because he is an incredible who? American. Michael Stelzner. He's Does an anyone know who that is? He's an incredible American man who's really knowledgeable in the era of social media, and that's my field. So I'm always listening to his podcasts. And the second would be Louise Hay, because I don't know if you guys have heard of her. She's a, an American personal development almost like guru, and she's helped a lot of uh, business people, but also celebrities just find themselves and get through challenges in their lives. So yeah. Thank you for sharing. One from you, because there'd be ten otherwise, wouldn't there? Come on, young lady. Give us one, because okay. I wanted to see if we can get as many as we can. Okay, okay, okay. Don't kill me, please. Donald Trump, because. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He 
he's not, he might not be the best president ever of America. There have been better. Please don't kill me. Um, but he's an amazing businessman, and money does attract from him very, very well, and I want to know how. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, that, I, it's interesting. You could, we, I could hear that. Oh, Donald Trump. I'm sure we could speak all night about Donald Trump there. How long have we got, guys, left? Two minutes. Who else would like to share? Ah, gentleman over there. Uh, it's very philosophical what I will say. Actually, I would like to be mentored by my higher self because we always, if we are connected and we can listen uh, the inner voice, then we know what is the next step. I mean, mentors already have so many for different things. So the only mentor we need, I think, is uh, to have the connection with our higher self and then um, naturally what is next will be unfolded. So that's Thank what you. I think. I'm not sure the higher self of me will help me. I think I'd, 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 uh, I think I definitely need someone else. Any more shares, Shaquille? Jim Rohn would be my uh, my selection. What an amazing guy! Um, I met him a hell of a long time ago by accident when I was only 16 years old. Um, I had lied about my age. I, I put down 18 when I should have been. I was only 16. And it was a network marketing company, and he was the sales director. At the time, I had no idea who he was. I didn't know what personal development was. And when old man, gray-haired guy came on the stage, I was about to leave. When he started speaking, I was mesmerized. And that's the time when I got into personal development, all the way back then through Jim Rohn. What a phenomenal guy. If you don't know about who he is and you haven't come across him, YouTube him, watch him, amazing. Thank you. Do, do people know who Jim Rohn is, by the way? Is there anyone who doesn't? Okay. I mean, it, it, the, thing, the interesting thing here, we're here as a peer group, right? And you probably, I mean, it's probably one of his most famous quotes probably is, we are the average of the five people we spend most of our time with. Right? Who's heard that quote? And if you haven't, think about that again. Because one of the reasons that we come to the Yes group is to surround ourselves with like-minded people. And think about it. If your five best mates are millionaires, what's the odds of you becoming a millionaire? A lot higher, right? If your five mates don't work, take drugs, drink all the time, abuse people, what sorts of happening to you? So, I mean, that was one of my favourite quotes. And if it's good enough for Tony Robbins, then it's certainly good enough for me. Now, I think we've run out of time. Thank you for, for, sharing, for sharing that.